Would you hand this guy's the keys to the uh, new 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor? I wouldn't. <laughs> that, that's that's confidence inspiring right there. Let's find out what he does. Kelly, help. Wait, whoa. What? He put stickers all over it too. What? He put stickers that I paid for all over it. And he put Jordan Parker all over it. I know. I'm about to see how, uh, how gentle he is with our truck. Whoa. My back sweat's on your seat now. Auto start. And it's right here. Yeah, it's awful. Rare I'm in a new product I haven't driven. <laughs> It'll go a little bit, man. It ain't good. It sounds really good. Yeah. That's way better than I thought. It's the noise is less insulated than like the raptors. Like the raptor. Oh really? You can still get the exhaust note, but that feels more I don't know, it feels a little more raw in a yeah. good way. Oh. Wow. Jordan, it's just like the goat moves. Oh, but it doesn't continue to rotate it, so. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's, I don't know why they changed it. This would be really fun. Oh, out, out, out this would be. Yeah, it's aggressive. This is a little looser than I was expecting it to be. Well, you're in a sand mode, or uh, in an off-road mode, so I'm sure the suspension's adjust itself to be a little more forgiving. Yeah. Oh. There's a sport mode to it. under the Australians are but um, really yeah it just takes a little a little massaging this, yeah this should be this would be really fun yeah and what's the price what's this 58, 58? yeah it's a good, good I package for 58 well considering yeah the Broncos half the price or double the price and then I mean next year this will be 65 but because you have a Badlands, right? Mm -hmm. So you probably paid what about fifty for that? No, fifty-four. We did mid package. We okay. didn't. We didn't load up on it. So all those being equal, you take the Bronco Badlands Sasquatch for fifty-four. This for fifty-eight. Yes, uh, this for fifty-eight. Okay. Um, but this is also not. You're not going to take this thing rock crawling like you would no, the Bronco. No. Uh, you could do some of that with this, but this. The intent of this is what you're doing now. Go fast, straight, hit rocks in the desert, and just have fun. Because if you overlap the capabilities of the two, 70% well, the, yeah, this general is, use case both yeah. can do. Is and that this is probably better above 80, that's better below 5. Yeah, this is for the Overlander, I think. Even though it's okay. it's a high-speed desert runner, I think because front rear lockers are getting the capability that they want. You um, put a bed rack on it. Yes, and you put your, your camping gear on it, you're fine. That seems a little you know premium for the price. Mm -hmm. and this yeah, all this Alcantara is really nice. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I'm glad they didn't do it on the steering wheel though, because that yeah, where it, it wears. Grimy, yeah, I don't like it. Oh, this is beefy, mm -hmm. bolstered nicely. So the real answer is, if would Jordan Parker buy one of these if he had the had a chance to? I guess I'm not getting pulled over. Um. If money was no object, yes, I would buy one. Yeah. I like bigger trucks, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go for the F-150 Raptor. Sure. Um, but I think I would buy... I think I would buy this over a Bronco Raptor, if I'm being honest with you. Really? Wow. I just, I just don't know that I could justify the extra 40 grand over... And you all know I'm a Bronco. Yeah, Bronco yeah. Guy. Clearly, clearly you stuck Bronco stickers all over this <laughs> thing. Um... But I think I would get this and like a base Sasquatch. Yeah. For so, the same price for, as a Yeah, Raptor, exactly, yes. exactly. And then I can do all the fun off-roading I want to in base Squatch. And then all the high-speed, fun desert running I love to do. Yeah. 
I would do in this. When this this for a family vehicle, you can tow. You still get five thousand pounds towing. Yeah. So that's most boats that you would want to tow. Anyways. Daily, this is going to be better, just because the width. I mean, the Bronco Rev. I love it. I love that truck so much. It's so much fun. But it's not practical to you. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's I. Not at all. It's not practical most things. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's a. It, that, I think for that, I think it's an obnoxious vehicle that's supposed to be an obnoxious vehicle. They, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, for sure. They slick. They could slim it down if they wanted to. But no, this is I haven't I haven't driven a new gen Ranger. Yeah. Um and this is a massive leap in my opinion from the previous Gen Ranger to this. The interior, I think the exterior looks a heck of a lot better. Wait, um, have you seen have you seen any of the XL? Have you seen any of the lower mm -hmm. trims? Yeah. yeah, they they seem like a nice truck. It looks it looks a lot tougher, it looks a lot more made for the American market. Because the previous gen you can tell was built for Asia Pacific. Yes. Um this looks a lot more Americanized, I guess, in a good way, because America's just like boxier. Yeah. More imposing large vehicles. So I think this does a really great job of that. Um, so, thumbs up. I think, it, oh, I go think ahead. it fits nicely into the off road lineup. I, what I, I don't think this will cannibalize Bronco sales. I don't I think, think it, and I don't think it'll miss. I don't think, think they detract from each other, which is really cool that there are so, that Ford has so many performance off. Yeah. oriented offerings in the off-road space is like it they have the best lineup off-road wise and i don't think this messes right with f-150 sales nope. or f-150 raptor sales nope. so do it do we get a thumbs up or thumbs down on this thumbs all right up. there two you go up. two thumbs up actually